Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I review different action figures. Today I'll be reviewing McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the DC Rebirth Joker. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start by taking a look at the box. And so on the front you got a window, DC Multiverse, and the Joker. Then on the side you got the Joker, DC Rebirth. On the back you've got the cool picture that's on the trading card too. As well as some other figures that you can get from this DC Multiverse line. And then on the side, you got the Joker, another window. On the top, just a window, too. And then finally on the bottom, you got a barcode and then just some other word stuff. So there you have it for the box. All right, now we'll take a look at all the accessories the Joker comes with. And so first, you've got the DC Multiverse stand that just comes in an all black paint. It's got a peg delta figure stand up and then a small DC logo there at the bottom. And next, you've got the trading card, which has that same cool picture that was on the back of the box. And it says the Joker or DC Rebirth at the bottom. And then in the back, you've got the source, real name, height, weight, and then a small bio that if you'd like to read, you can pause the video now. And then for his main accessories, you've got a crowbar for him, which is a really good Joker um, accessory. I like that he came with this. It doesn't really have too much paint on it. It just looks like it's just the normal plastic color so that's fine for this one just because it doesn't really need much paint because it's just a crowbar so that's a really cool accessory and then you've got his nice long barreled gun that looks like it came from the uh batman 1989 movie and so this is a really awesome gun i would have wished it came with more paint though like on the grip and then it just had more paint on it other than just being the normal plastic color because i know that the white knight joker it actually did come with the paint on the grip and all over the guns so that's just a little bit disappointing but overall it's a awesome weapon and he's got some pretty nice accessories all right so now i'll take a closer look at this figure and so you can see he's got a really nice head sculpt on there he's got a nice big smile really like that and the paint on there looks really good with his teeth and then the inside of his mouth then you got tons of wrinkle details all over, just like by his eyes and just around his mouth where it's sort of just stretching and stuff. And then you've got his hair, which is sculpted very nicely. It's kind of just one flat green color, but it's all right. And what I really like about his hair is that he's got like these hanging hair pieces that come out. It just really makes the figure look very nice. Um, the one thing about the face that I don't like is the eye shadow. I think they did way too much on the eyes and should have just been a lot smaller because it just kind of makes it look bad. Would have been better with just a little bit of eye shadow around the eyes. So there's just a problem that I have with this figure. And then moving down, you got the suit, which has nice details all over. You can see the paint, it's got darker purple under, and then there's even like lighter purple on some of the lines right there looks really nice and you can see it's just got that all over the suit the lines going down even on the tail coat there's some wrinkles right here looks really good and then you've got the yellow right here for the undershirt got green for the uh, little vest and same with the tie right there and you can see the shirt comes out at the wrist right there and then for the hands you've got nice white sculpted detail on there kind of like a leathery texture on there that's really cool and then you can see it's kind of gotten scraped off inside of the hands that's another problem i have with this figure it's because when you're putting the gun in and out sort of thing it kind of scrapes the paint off so don't really like that and then i really kind of wish they had painted the buttons on there but that's all right you've got a cleanly painted chain right there no excess paint at all and then the details just continue down here and you've got the foot which is just all black and i just wanted to show a little quick comparison with the arkham asylum joker so obviously you've got a different head the flowers on a different side different tie and undershirt sort of stuff and then the suit is a little bit different this one comes to more of a point on here but this one's more rounded and obviously the different colors all over this one doesn't have a belt got the same sort of chain stuff right there same feet this one just doesn't have the white paint on the shoes and then on the back you do have a little bit of difference up here you've got kind of a flat spot while well, this one doesn't have that and then the tail coat part is just different too so there you have it for the details of this joker figure and now articulation time 
So for the head, you've got up just a little bit, down, side to side, tilt, very good on there. For the arms, you've got a butterfly joint in there to help the range of motion. Can go up that much, goes all the way around. And then you've got the bicep swivel right there, double jointed elbows go up very far. You've got the wrist, which goes side to side and twists around. You've got the torso, which ab crunches forward very far. And it goes back very far also, really like that. And then you got the legs, which goes forward that much, back that much out to the side that much and there's no really thigh rotation at all and then you've got the double jointed knee which goes back very far like the arms and then you've got the ankle which goes up and down just slightly and you can twist it side to side and finally the toe articulation so there you have it for the articulation for joker all right so here's a little comparison with some of the other figures and so on the left you've got batman on the right, you've got the Batman who laughs, and then another Joker. And so you can see they all look very nice together. I really like how Batman and Joker scale, where Batman's bigger than him, so Joker would have to look up to him. So I really like that. And then all three of these sort of Joker figures all are about the same height, which I do like. That makes sense, because they're all just kind of Jokers. And so yeah, they just all look very nice together. And now I'll go over some different poses that I like to put this figure into. And so for this first one, I've got him pointing his gun out at someone, and it just looks like he's laughing a ton. He's got his hand on his head, and I think he just looks really cool in this pose. And then for this next pose, I've got him to where he's got his gun just holding it to the side in the air, and then he's got his hand on his hip. I think he just looks kind of like a Joker pose for him, so I really like that one. And then finally, probably my favorite pose is to have him with the crowbar and looking like he's just about to beat up Jason Todd or Red Hood. And they just look really good together. And so you can see he's just about to hit him right there. So yeah, there's just some different poses that I like to put this figure into. All right, so overall, this is a pretty great figure. I think he looks great. He's got nice sculpt detail all over and he just got the nice details on his jacket and stuff. Even though he's mostly reused from the Arkham one, I still think he looks great. And I think his paint is good. I like that they changed the colors from the Arkham one because he's more of a comic book one. So that's really nice. I would just say that the eyeshadow on his face is just a little too heavy and they should have toned that down just a little bit and then it would have been a little better. And then for the gun, I would say that they should have painted it. I don't know why they didn't. I think it's kind of lazy that they didn't and just left it the plastic color, especially when it was painted on another figure's accessory. So that's just kind of disappointing in my opinion. But other than that, I think he looks awesome and I'm happy to have a comic book Joker. And then for the next video, I do not have a tease because I will be doing a Marvel Legends video. And so if you'd like to just guess down in the comments below what you think the next figure will be, you can do that. Or you can just comment what you thought of the video and what you think of this figure. And so if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified for all my videos. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.